this week, I uncover Australia's latest border initiative. Aussie border crocs. Fly to some tiny outback towns. I have pulled out of Catherine and I'm moving on to Alice. And come across a surprise in the middle of the desert as I take a tiny plane right across the heart of Australia. All right, welcome to Darwin Airport. We are off on an airline today called Air North, who are a little regional airline based up here in the Northern Territory of Australia. They fly over Air 120s and we're taking a ride on them today down on the Milkwood flight. So um, let's um, head inside and get checked in. My first job today was to check in. Rather naively, I'd been hoping to carry my trolley case on board with me thanks to a rather tight connection in Alice Springs. But in what seemed to be a common theme on this trip, this was denied at the first hurdle. Hi, good morning, how are you? Uh, to Alice Springs. Thank you. Uh, well, I don't know if I can take this on board. I'm hoping I can because I've got a tight connection, but I don't know if it's... Uh, yeah, it's, it's heavy, that's the problem. Right, thank you very much. This one is a small plane? Yeah. Oh, not allowed. That's, um, it's it's too much, is it? It needs to be checked in. Okay. Yep. All right. Maybe I'll make it 40 minutes. Hopefully they quit on. Eight number two. Uh -huh. Eight o'clock is the boarding. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Eight o'clock is the boarding. Perfect. And uh, I changed the seat. Uh, the oh, single, wonderful. Yeah, single seat on the front. front oh, wonderful. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Great stuff. Very quickly go out. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Yeah, and hopefully some good views as well. So yeah. <laughs> the weather gets better anyway. Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate your help. You. Have a good day. All right, then all checked in. I'll have to drop my bag which is a bit of an issue because I've got a 40 minute connection down in Alice Springs to a different airline. So 40 minutes, maybe that would be enough. I don't know. Maybe they're efficient with it being a tiny airport. Maybe, I don't know what it's like there. We'll see when we get there. Right, let's get through to security. So Air North then, they are a Australian regional airline. They're based up here in Darwin and they operate flights across regional Australia. So they connect all of the little towns that you see out in the outback, little mining towns and things like that, the little communities all across here. They fly across all of them with a fleet of Embraer 120s, which is pretty cool. Not many airlines in the world still fly the Embraer 120. Aside from that, they've got some jets now as well, some Embraer 170s and 190s. And they did have the Metro liner until recently, but I think they're all gone now. Our flight today is on a Embraer 120 in Brasilia, which I'm looking forward to. I've only been on one of them before. That was over in Africa, so it wasn't the nicest Embraer 120 to fly on, but this one might be all right. So, um, yeah. A bit of breakfast before we get on the plane. It's gonna be a long day. Now, of course, we could get down to Alice Springs in just one flight non-stop but it's like an hour and a half two hour flight from here in darwin but of course we don't do things the easy way do we we like to take these little milk run flights to hop across australia and places like this so that we get to see some more than just the big airports you know so that's what we're doing It'll take us about five hours i think and taking the long way down was the order of the day today my adventure would take me on a series of hops across the middle of australia first to catherine onward to tennant creek and then alice springs before continuing south to adelaide on the south coast of australia but pretty soon it was time to get on board the first ride of the day and welcome all passengers traveling on flight tl50 to catherine tennant creek alice springs please remain seated until the aircraft gate number two all right time to go down and get on the plane let's go my ride today was this Embraer 120, originally delivered new in 1988 to West Air in the US. It moved to Fiji in 1999 and arrived in Australia in 2006, flying for Regional Pacific, Network Aviation and finally Air North from 2014. It's fair to say she's been around the block a few times, but on board it was still in pretty decent condition. I took my seat in row one and a few minutes later the engine started up and we got on our way.
My first leg took us down to Catherine. Flight time for this leg was 43 minutes, cruising at 19,000 feet. All right, then, airborne from Darwin on the Embraer 120 Brasilia. I've only ever been on one of these before, and that was over in Africa with Flight Stink, sorry, Flight Link, the Tanzanian airline. But uh, we've got the first stop today. It is 40 minute flying time or so down to a place called Catherine in the middle of the outback. The meal service for this leg consisted of a muffin and some in-flight entertainment in the form of an identification guide to toads, of course. Goodness me, this plane is so noisy and rattly. It is amazing. I love it. <laughs> First, we need to sit here right up by the engine. I mean, look at that. I have to say, this is quite possibly the most Australian newspaper headline I've ever seen. Aussie border crocs, beware our skyly last line of defense. I'm, I'm guessing when you get further south and the border crocs are replaced with kangaroos who punch you in the face or something. Right then, started our descent into stop one today. It's a little town called Catherine. So we're about to land in Catherine. In a few minutes at least. Much like Darwin, Catherine was pretty moist today, but soon dried up as I approached and we made a smooth touchdown into what seemed like a surprisingly big airport for such a small town. Alright, we have touched down into Catherine. That sounds weird. I have arrived into Catherine sounds even worse anyway we've 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 landed in Catherine we've got about I think about 20 minutes half an hour on the ground here and then we carry on on to the next stop today which is a place called Tennant Creek which is I guess where they make tenants lager I'm imagining and I'm guessing there's a creek there as well we'll, we'll see when we get there We pulled up outside Catherine's terminal building where most people seemed to get off and a couple more got on for the flight south. Before long we were powering up again and taxiing out once more to Catherine's landing strip for the flight further south. The next leg took us further south to Tennant Creek. Flight time for this leg was 1 hour and 25 minutes, cruising at 23,000 feet. Alright then, I have pulled out of Catherine and I'm moving on to Alice. And by golly, you really feel the vibration in the seat of your pants when this thing takes off from the thrust. It's incredible. We've got a, about an hour and a 20 minute run now on this leg. This is the longest leg of today, down to Tennant Creek. And then we've got another short stop there and then we carry on regardless down to Alice Springs. I have to say it's a lot greener outside than I imagined it would be actually in this part of the world. I thought Catherine was like a desert town out in the outback but it's very green. It looks a little bit like England out the window, dare I say it. The snack service on this second leg was cheese and crackers and we continued south through some massive storms that were dotted all around the Northern Territory. It's time for the Noel Phillips Blue Review. All right then, as this is the longest flight of the day, and we're on such a cool aircraft, I thought I'd come and do a Loo review. And it's a very tiny Loo, albeit it's a Loo with a view, or, well, it would be a view if there wasn't a window blocked off just there, but there's the Loo, it's not brilliant. We've got a nice, lovely metal floor down there. I'm trying really hard to try and fit everything in because it's such a tiny toilet. Um, I don't know what that is there. There's not even a sink actually in here, so I don't know how you're meant to wash your hands when you've done your business. I'm really not sure. But anyway, <laughs> this thing is just tiny. So, um, yeah, I won't be spending too long in here because I don't want to get a quick neck. But, um, yeah, this is the Lou on the Embraer 1-2. 
That was the Noel Phillips Blue Review. As of right now, we are running a few minutes early, which is good because I need every minute I can get down in Alice Springs to be able to make my connecting flight. I have a flight 40 minutes or 45 minutes or so after we're due to land, and I've got to collect my bag in that time as well. So I don't know how big the airport is in Alice Springs. We'll figure out when we get down there. If I miss that flight, it's not the end of the world. There's another flight later on, but it's not till like half past six tonight. So that gives me six hours there, which I don't need to just be able to connect on to my next stop but we'll see we'll see how we get on i have faith that air north can get us there nice and on schedule i'm actually booked onto both flights out of alice springs the 40 minute connection well i've only done that as a reward flight through united so if we miss that flight or it's getting a bit close i can just cancel that with no penalty at all and then the one tonight is flexible as well, so I can just cancel that one should I need to. So I've booked on both. We'll see which one we get. Fingers crossed we're there in time for the earlier one, though, because it would be really nice to get down to Adelaide a bit earlier and get to my hotel tonight. Like everywhere else I'd been today, it was raining in Tennant Creek. This small gold mining town is one of the largest in the Northern Territory, with a population of just over 3,000 people. It's served a couple of times a week by the Air North flight to Alice Springs and Darwin. This is Tennant Creek in the Northern Territory. I don't know about you, but I always thought that the heart of the outback in Australia in the middle of summer was supposed to be a really hot and unforgiving place. It's absolutely peeing it down outside. It's like England. So it seems that most passengers have got off here. I think there's only me and somebody else left on the plane now down to Alice Springs. But then obviously we're going to get some more passengers here at Tennant Creek, I guess, and take them down there as well. We are running quite a bit early, so fingers crossed we can get them on up early and then we can get down there early. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? Give me a few more minutes so I don't have to run. Just one person got on the flight here at Tennant Creek and after we'd waited for a helicopter to land, the doors were closed and we started up for the next leg down to Alice Springs. The next leg then took me further south to Alice Springs, cruising at 24,000 feet with a flight time of one hour and two minutes. All right then, Airborne on the last leg on the Emirate down to Alice Springs, about an hour long flight, just one more person got on the flight there, so there's three of us now on this last leg down to Alice Springs. Not the busiest of routes, I guess, today at least, but hey, we are on our way down to Alice Springs, and nevertheless, dodging some badass rain showers that they've got around here. It's incredible. Just see all the rain out the window. It's mental. The ground outside is starting to get redder now as we head further south towards the centre of Australia as well. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Proper remote places that we're visiting now. This leg gave us the biggest meal of the day with a rather nice looking sandwich. Once again we were in and out of storms and ended up picking up a fair bit of icing which was no trouble for the Embraer's anti-icing boots. And then started our descent down into Alice Springs which should be on the ground soon. It's 20 past 12. My onward flight leaves at 20 past 1. We're about 15 minutes away from landing, so if we land at 12.35, that gives me, what, 45 minutes to get off the plane, grab my bag through security, and onto a Virgin Australia plane. Will I make it? Who knows? I hope there's something to do in Alice Springs, just in case I don't. <laughs> but I wouldn't have too long to find out, as we were soon starting our approach down into Alice Springs Airport. Thanks 
to the dry air here, Alice Springs is used as a boneyard for old airliners and there were quite a few here today, including these Cebu Pacific planes, which thankfully at least weren't causing suffering to their passengers while they were sitting here on the ground. Now I was in Alice Springs, it only remained for me to find out if I'd made my connection onto the Virgin Australia flight or if I'd have a six hour wait here in the middle of the desert. Do you know if the Virgin flight's on time to Adelaide? Um, yes, you may. I've got to self connect, I've got, I've, got my, I've got to collect my bag and get through, so hopefully. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not here yet. Hopefully it's late, so I've got a bit more time. Usually every other time it is, but I think it's the on time thing. Nice, okay. Yeah. Just one I don't need it to be. Yeah, I know, right. <laughs> Alright, then arrived into a sweltering hot Alice Springs. Fingers crossed my bag comes out pretty quick from down here. And then we can shoot across and get through security for my flight down to Adelaide. But the Virgin plane's not in yet, so fingers crossed it's delayed. But one time I want a flight to be delayed. <laughs> Got Virgin's just landed now. I've just heard it reverse thrust down the runway, so let's go get through security. Hello. How are you going? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good. See my board Yeah, that's right. I don't need to see that. Uh, okay, no worries. Yeah, just check that one in here. Yeah. Oh, I made it to the gate. <laughs> It's 12.48 now, so a little bit, little bit of a tight connection, but it's not a very big airport, so let's go and um, get on the plane. From Alice Springs, it was just a short 90 minute hop down to Adelaide, which was pretty decent, really. I do like riding on Virgin when I'm in Australia. They're a really cool little airline who I often like to take when I need to get between the big cities down here. My flights today cost me the total of $381.69 or about 300 British pounds, working out at 45 cents per mile. I booked the Air North flights direct on Air North's website and the Virgin Australia flight as a redemption through United Mileage Plus. Bye bye. I then made it to Adelaide. I am a fan of Virgin, I have to say. Virgin Australia, they're pretty decent and they're part of the United sort of network as well, so I can get points flying with them with United, or in this case, redeem my points through with United. So um, that was pretty cool. That flight only cost me like 29 US dollars or something for that flight, so plus a few thousand points, but hey, it's got me in in time for tea. Right, let's go and see if we can get an Uber into Adelaide. I would like to say thank you to all of my patrons who get access to my amazing WhatsApp community, monthly Zoom calls and exclusive merch. Join them at the link on the screen now. All right then, welcome to Adelaide, South Australia. Staying at the Peppers Hotel in Adelaide, which is a place I've not stayed before. It's an Accor Hotel. They do like their Accors down here. You get many Marriott's down here, actually. I've noticed that in Australia and Hilton's as well. You don't tend to find too many of them, but Accor seem like massive here. This is quite nice, isn't it? There's my bed. What's through here? Let's have a look. Ooh, look at this bathroom. Blimey, Charlie, look at this. Oh, I've got a bathtub, nice shower, and a bog round the corner. Wow, this is pretty cool. A little recliner chair here, desk area for doing work and stuff and eating meals, and the view out of here across Adelaide. If I can figure out how to open this blind. Oh, there we go. There's my view out there, the cranes of Adelaide look out the window. Anyway, it's great to be here. It's great to be on the bottom end, the bottom of Australia after we started this morning, right up in the top of Australia. We've sort of hopped all the way down today, haven't we? Crazy to think I woke up this morning literally almost in Indonesia and now I'm here at the bottom end of Australia in Adelaide. I've got a few days here now and then I am off to do something pretty cool on the next video. So make sure you stay tuned and let me know what you thought of course two 
the milk run that I've done today down in the comments and is that a flight that you would take or would you rather go on a non-stop flight and not have to bother with stopping at all those little places on the route or let me know down in the comments but anyway in the meantime as always guys thanks so much for watching take care be kind to one another and I'll see you on the next one bye for now all right